Well, it's hard to believe that it's time for a New Year's message again. And here we are. We find ourselves together again, wishing each other Happy New Year. And I do wish you a Happy New Year. I wish you a year that's better than any year that you have lived thus far. I pray that you're blessed in every way. And I pray that you're going to work with God to bless yourself, to resolve to do things differently. I want to, therefore, tell you the story of the trip. I had not really planned on taking a trip at this time of the year, and yet, I found myself packing rather hurriedly. The trip was going to be unpleasant. I I knew it in advance that no real good would come of it. I'm talking about my annual guilt trip. I got the tickets to fly there on Wish I Had Airlines. Oh, it was an extremely long flight. I kept my baggage, which... I could not check. I chose to carry it myself all the way. I was weighted down with a thousand memories of what might have been. No one greeted me as I entered the terminal to the Regret City International Airport. I say international because people from all over the world came to this dismal town. As I checked into the last resort hotel, I noticed that they would be hosting this year's most important social event, the annual pity party. I wasn't going to miss that great social occasion. Many of the town's leading citizens would be there. First, I met three members of the Dunn family. Should have done would have done, could have done. Then I met the I Had family, Old Wish and his clan, his clan of opportunities present, missed, and lost. The biggest family, though, there are the Yesterday family. There are far too many of those to count but each one would have a very, very sad story to tell. Then the Shattered Dreams family would make an appearance, and its Their Fault family would regale us with stories, excuses, about how things had failed in their life. And each story was loudly applauded by Don't Blame Me, and I Couldn't Help It, Well, to make a long story short, I went to this depressing New Year's Eve party, knowing that there would be no real benefit in doing so, and as usual, I became very depressed. But as I thought about all the stories of failures brought back from the past, it occurred to me that all of this trip and the pity parties could be canceled by me as I step across the threshold into a new year and a new life. Knowing this, I left the city of regret immediately, and I left no forwarding address. Am I sorry for the mistakes that I've made in the past? Yes, but there is no physical way to undo them. So, if you're planning a visit to the City of Regret in 2015, cancel that reservation right now. Instead, take a trip in 2015 to the Starting Over Again City. I liked it so much that I've taken up residence there. My neighbors, the I forgive myself, and the new startups are very helpful. And by the way, you don't have to carry around heavy luggage because the load has already been lifted from your shoulders by God. I now live on I Can Do It Street. 
My friend, as you cross over from 2014 to 2015, do it with God. Don't carry the baggage of the past with you. And give yourself the gift of letting go once and for all of the guilt trips, the regrets. You know, a day of worry is more exhausting than a week of work. I pray that you have a wonderful, loving existence every day, realizing the love of God and what God can do through you in 2015.